Welcome everyone to some Tecmo Owners League action. We are in week eight. We got a matchup here between Flying High and the Killers. The defending champion is not doing so hot this season. Uh, the Killers are serial killers are winless at press time. Uh, 0 and 6 last I checked. So uh, without any further ado, Flying High has an opportunity to uh, ascend higher in the power rankings and increase their playoff odds with a win against a seemingly inferior opponent. Three, two, one. And Brian Westrick comes back. Who could complain about that? Here we go to the coin toss. I usually take this opportunity to complain about something um, or make it about me, which is exactly what I'm about to do. The Chicago Drunkards are not doing so hot this season. And I empathize with the serial killers because if worst case scenario has occurred to their team, I can relate. There's no reason that uh, Levi Lacrosse should be oh for everything at this point, but he is. Nice little play there by the serial killers. They cross the 40. Hand off to the top sideline. That'll be a first down. Out of motion before the play. Roll out, looking for a receiver. Throws it into the flat, incomplete. When that route works, it works well. But that pass was super inaccurate. Thrown deep. Nice play there. Crossing the five to the two yard line. Very nice. Call play. Flying high, coming after the serial killers. Thrown to the back of the end zone. I can't even see the receivers in the end zone. Tony the Tiger showing up, though, and he's not going to make this one easy for flying high. They better not rest on their laurels. You can't come into any game just assuming you're going to win. You got to put forth a great effort. And here comes Jackson. Broke the first tackle, but only managed to get back to the nine-yard line. Nick Foles. This is that weird reverse play where sometimes you have no idea who actually has the ball. Maybe that's the point. Kind of looks like the... Uh, that fad offense that everybody was trying for a little while. The the, uh, the run pass option play where you... Wildcat formation, that's it. Didn't last long. But for a bit there, it worked quite well. And that's what that reverse... Strange reverse play and run one feels like to me. Rooster takes him down for a sack. Play action, looking for a receiver, found one, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, but only not nearly enough, I should say. And here we go with a punt. So the serial killers start this off looking pretty formidable. March down, score a touchdown on the first drive, force flying high to punt after a couple of first downs, and uh, they got the ball back. Throwing into coverage there. Quarterback made a quick decision, even though he might not have had to. Pro form, looking for a receiver. The tight end is running down the middle, throws into coverage. And the ball was thrown so slowly. Multiple defensive backs were there, maybe even a linebacker. 
We've got options on this play, folks. This will be just shy of the first down, and they will punt it away with just 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. Punting high and deep. Inside the 20 is where he'll return it from. He looks sprite. He looks agile. He looks in good condition. And he'll take it back to the... 33 yard line so here we go flying high right back with it he's got lots of options here boy that defensive back converged quickly throw it into coverage that is not who i would have thrown to there were two wide open receivers short rooster taking him down for a sack on a called play and folks this one could be costly flying high will lose nick Foles. while nick Foles would not be a loss to almost any team he is on uh in this situation it might be a big loss let's see how he paid quarterback two a lot of people didn't this year quarterback two throws it wild leave it caught 20 10 touchdown on perhaps his first toss of the season deshaun jackson hauls one in from quarterback r cunningham also known as qb1 Kick is up, kick is good, 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow, what a shot in the arm that was. You lose your quarterback, send in your backup. Who just kills it? Poor return there as the serial killers start out with it. Throws into coverage. Knocked away. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Three wideouts. Tight end at the bottom. It's the play action. Throws quickly. But that defensive back closed quickly. Very nice job there. And here's the rollout pass. Throws it. I don't know. With some wildly inaccurate throws here from the quarterback. But uh, the receiver compensates for it and picks up a first down. Big sack by Reggie White. Quarterback fades back to pass, throws into coverage, knocked away. Didn't have a chance in hell on that one. Fades back, looks for a receiver, throws it bottom sideline. Tackled at the 45 for a first down. He's got a wide open receiver top. Can he get it to him? He's not been accurate all day. Is this one accurate enough? It is! Touchdown! Serial killers. Touchdown, Cookie Crook. Tony the Tiger threading the needle on that one. The coverage is actually pretty good. The receiver hauled it in anyway. It was thrown exactly where it needed to be, apparently. And uh, that was a hell of a play, actually. So the serial killers retake the lead. I'm looking forward. What a return there. That was pretty darn good. I'm looking forward to see a little more out of this backup quarterback. Was that play just a fluke? Does he have more to offer? That was a poor decision. But... Not really a poor throw. Did he pay his backup? Short run there on second and long. It'll now be third and long after a one yard gain. Play action here. Huge sack by Mr. Snap and the serial killers are starting to really put the pressure on here. I know we're only in the second quarter, but the way things are going, that defense appears to be stifling this will be a touchback folks just barely only a couple yards deep but a touchback nonetheless pro form tight end at the top that's the off tackle run toward the top sideline and he'll get six never complain on a gain of six at first down they'll call the same play again no i don't think so actually this is a sweep from the pro form and he'll get a huge gainer on that one Roughly 15 yards and a first down. So 21 yards on the ground. I'd say stick with it.
Wow. Everyone was open on that play, and the defensive backs did not react well after the throw. Did tackle him pretty much immediately, but that was a pretty darn big game. Not a good throw there. Whoever that, uh, that, that was running back two, maybe. Does not seem to be a very good player. Oh, my gosh. See, whoever the killer's quarterback is, is just killing them. No pun intended. Yeah, some wildly inaccurate throws today. And the serial killers will try to go up by two scores here on a field goal attempt. It's up. It's good. It's roughly around a 50-yard attempt, and they'll take it 17-7. Two-score lead, and we're knocking on the door halftime. Short return there by Jackson. Here we go. Three ride at wide outs. Tight end at the bottom. Looking for a receiver. Throws it. Caught. Fading back to Pat. Nope. Draw play. Intercepted. What a play. Doesn't mean anything because it's halftime. Well, the story of the game so far, the serial killers and Levi Lacrosse look pretty formidable so far against a team that was heavily favored going into this matchup. Kick is off. And Jackson will return it from his own 11. Cuts to the top sideline, cuts back toward the middle of the field, and he'll get tackled at the 35. Well, flying high, gets to start the half with possession. He can change all the momentum here. And they do, folks, one play, one touchdown. Six points on the board, wide receiver two. Carmichael was wide open, no one was even close to him. And uh, R. Cunningham, a.k.a. QB1, throws another touchdown pass. 17-14. Here comes Crunch. Short return, but still pretty good field position to start with. And that toss sweep. Gets them a first down. Killers coming back quick. Off tackle run to the top. Right tackle. Wow, broken tackle inside the 40. Close to the 30 and a fumble and flying high will pick it up. Ouch. Not what you want to see when you're a struggling team. Finally gaining momentum for yourself. Mr. Pop takes him down for a sack. The defense isn't having any of this. Probably pretty upset after giving up a touchdown on one play to start the second half. They need to make up for it. And the Killers do still have the lead. So all is not lost. Quarterback takes off with it. Uh, gets a couple of yards on it. They're going to have to punt it away. So even after the fumble... They'll have to punt it away. Nice return, crossing the 30, uh, almost crossed the 30. I thought for sure you would, but I forgot how slow the killer's returner is. This is the off right tackle run again, and Wendell will cross the first down marker. Nice work there by the quarterback, making it happen himself. That'll be a first down. He did it all by himself, shucking tacklers left and right. Three wideouts. Play action. He's got options. Is, is he accurate? He is not. Ugh. 
You gotta hate to see it when you leave points on the board like that. Another chance though. And this one will be in for six. And the Killers retake their two score lead. 23-14, Tony the Tiger. Kick is up. Kick is not good, doesn't really matter that much. Let's hope it doesn't matter at the end of the game. Still two possessions, but a lot of time left. You never know. Nice return by Jackson, and this is what I'm talking about. Time is not ticking, huge return by Flying High, and they are nearly in the red zone. Big sack by Mr. Snap. He's really showing up this second half like you wouldn't believe. Fades back to pass. Looking. Picked off. Oof. I don't know what that was. Quarterback panicked and threw it to the nearest defender. Just one yard on that play. Man in motion. There must, there's a wide open receiver at the top of the quarterback. Just takes it himself, folks. First down. And at this point, the killers just got to keep the chains moving and keep the clock moving. Throws it short. Caught. This will be a six-yard gain. Second down and four. Man in motion. Looking for a receiver. Throws into coverage. That was dangerous. I would advise against that. Man in motion, we got that off tackle run towards the top sideline, he will get the first down. And folks, we got one quarter to go. Anytime you enter the second, excuse me, the final quarter of the game and you have a two score lead, you gotta be feeling pretty good about yourself. Oh, thrown into coverage again, but he's rewarded. Fumbles out of bounds, wow, what a bizarre series of events. Throws into coverage, should have been picked, tackled him. Oh my god. That quarterback, who's wildly inaccurate, just keeps coming back to haunt the killers. I can relate, I'm afraid. Nice player there by the killers' defense. Phase back to pass looks. Throws into coverage. Knocked away. Two defensive backs there. Making sure. Short gain there. They're going to go for it on fourth and five. I guess it's time. They may be down to their last two possessions. And wide open receiver at the top, folks. Oh, it was the curl route, though. He didn't keep going. And that play was easily defended. Here we go. Pro form. Fade back to pass. Looking for a receiver. I don't know why they're throwing anymore, to be quite honest with you. With the way that quarterback throws wildly and inaccurately. Is this that off tackle run again? Sure. No, it's the play action. This one might be a touchdown, though. Oh, wow. And that's it, folks. That's your dagger. The killers take down flying high in unexpected fashion. Kick is up. Kick is good. 30 to 14. So uh, a little bit of a silver lining here for the serial killers after a real rough start to the season. But anything can happen in TOL. I once started uh, 7-0 and and ended 9-7. and So there's no reason to uh, completely give up hope here. If you're any team except for uh, Bobby's shitty-ass Wasteland team. Which will underperform all season long. Just kidding, Bobby. You just beat me in the last game that I watched. Fourth down and eight. Once again, it's all over, but the crying. Maybe they can pad some stats at this point. 
Uh, that was almost a pick. Got very lucky there. Play action. He's got some choices, but they're short. And that fumble is salt in the wound. Flying high was just never able to get into a groove this game. They had plenty of chances. It fumbles, interceptions by their defense. Just nothing doing. Well, we're almost at the halfway point of the season. I'm going to start doing some playoff analysis here. Once we get to week nine, see who's legit got a shot. My buddy Pete, newcomer to the league, picked off. The quarterback is just drunk. My buddy Pete is faring better than me. Newcomer to the league. That's it, folks. 30 to 14. Killers stomping flying high in unexpected fashion. This is Joe Shitbag Mitchell signing off.